Dixie always had his way. That even when he lost, he always found a way to win. He was a winner. Dixie! <laughs> Seven o'clock on a Saturday night. Everyone's inside the jazz club, Dixie's. It's been around for years. Dixie's is truly reputable for exactly and only two things, jazz and its owner, Dixie, who usually surrounded himself around a bunch of has-beens and nobodies sitting in the darkest corner of the club. Dixie always had his way. Even when he lost, he always found a way to win. Legally, you illegally, okay. nefariously, gratuitously. No matter what the game or the stakes, Dixie always found a way to win. So you can imagine how involved he was when two daredevils blitzkrieged into his club with guns and intention. Daredevils, ones who crawl in the day and seek fortune in the night. A real Bonnie and Clyde power couple, running from danger, only to end up running into themselves. People like this, they don't know how to live, how to survive, so they do the only thing they can to jumpstart the whole process, rob those that can. The only difference is, is that Bonnie is Claudette and Clyde is Ludell. Give us all the fucking money, motherfuckers! You think this is a joke? Does this look like a fucking joke to you? <laughs> no, what's in your fucking head, kid? Your mother's dirty linen. <laughs> now listen, Dickie, or whatever the fuck your fucking name is, I'm not here to play guess who's gonna catch a fucking cap in the head first, all right? <laughs> so if you could just get me your fresh batch of cabbage, I'll be on my merry fucking way. Do me a favor, speak in fucking English. English? Yeah. You're fucking taking the piss! Now listen the rest of you, alright? Me and Mrs. Wolf don't want any other problems. Isn't that right, Mrs. Wolf? Yeah, that's right, Mr. Wolf. So you can act like Dickie the fucking dickhead over here. My name is Dixie. It's shut the fuck up! Or you can tell us where the money is. Now! Do you want me to start pissing? Cause I'll fucking piss all over you fucks! Oh yeah, you really don't want him to start pissing. Now. Shut up! What could Dixie do? He went all in too early this time. He should have played the table a little bit. Now he's got to give in his winnings and call it a loss. But he'll find his way back. He always does. Is this Mrs. Wolf? Who the... Who is this? I'm one of Huff. And 
I'm gonna puff and I'm gonna blow your house down. You blew my house down real good. You and uh, Mr. Wolf. Ain't that right? <laughs> Smells good, doesn't it? Take another sniff, my darling. Because that's the reason you're in the shit that you are. Listen to me, and listen to me real good, bitch. I'm only going to say this once. Tell me where's the stuff. I'll be a good piggy with you and the wolfie, okay? <laughs> right now, I'm Christ the fucking king. I should be Moses to you. Do you know Moses? Moses all of a sudden. Moses? Who the fuck's Moses? He sounds Mexican. That's not the fucking point! We have to get out of here or fuck! You're right. Fuck! Just get me some fucking paper from the fucking kitchen or whatever. So many people who know people know we fucking... I'll be quiet as a mouse, she says. Quiet as a fucking mouse, huh? Was it not enough fucking cocaine for you? That you had to go tell the other little fucking mouse Where's the fucking paper? I'm looking for it! Go ahead, little mousey. Have your fourth or fifth line, why don't you, you fuck? Would you shut the fuck up, you constipated piece of shit? This is paper towel. This is my fucking ass we're talking about. Not a hard surface. I'm gonna fucking hurt myself. I'm gonna need one of your fucking pads if I use this. I'll be bleeding out my fucking asshole. Is that what you're gonna keep worrying about? Because we need to get out of here and I will leave. I don't give a fuck. You're not going anywhere, my little runaway. Not until I'm done fucking feeding this toilet with my shit, all right? Anyway, that fucking toothless fucking Guido bastard is fu only fucking tougher over on the phone anyway. <laughs> You have the address? Yeah, I got it. Take my what belongs to me with no restrictions. Yeah, sir. I don't want to hear another word from that dirty Brit's mouth. I don't like him very much. Well, you guys keep this to a minimum, this ain't Carnegie Hall, okay? Leave this girl alone. She's not in any trouble. You got it, boss. Got it. What the fuck? Where is the stuff? <laughs> you fucking shot. What Where's the, the stuff? stuff? What the fuck? I'll fucking kill you. Where is the stuff? <laughs> Where's the stuff? What the fuck? Do you want this to happen? Do you want this to happen to you? Ah, fuck no. Tell me where the shit is now, asshole! Fuck you! Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have it all?
Yeah, I got the stuff. Yeah? You got a little bit for me? I don't know. Where's the girl? This uh, sick fuck! He fucking I killed her! Shot her in the fucking head! Ah! You shot her in the head? <laughs> yeah. Really? I shot her in the fucking head. Why? <laughs> you did, huh? Take him over there! Take him over there! You see, it was 7 o'clock on a Saturday night. Everyone's at the jazz club, Dickie's, which is known for two things. It's good jazz and it's good booze. And especially for Dickie, I mean, Dixie. <laughs> <laughs> it was seven o'clock on a Saturday night. Yeah.